Open up a beer and you say get over here and play a video game A man is fair as sundress, watching me get undressed Do that body downtown I say you the bestest, leaning for a big kiss but it's Hey you and welcome back to today's video so in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys some tips on how to look cute with no effort. Who doesn't want to do that? Can someone, can someone tell me? If you don't want to look cute with no effort, then dislike this video. I have faith that you do want to look cute without having to put effort in. So I have come up with 10 things that I do to make getting ready easier, that makes me look better without really having to try or minimizes effort so hopefully you enjoy if you do be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe maybe follow me on instagram or twitter <laughs> they're both linked in the description and yeah let's just get into it so my number one tip this is something that i swear to god helps me so much look better look more toned look sli slimmer okay look slimmer is using fake tan personally i use the saint a mousse, it's like a two hour one so you don't need to sleep in it, it doesn't get your sheets messy again, two hours, super easy it literally takes ten minutes to put on then you just hop in the shower, wash it off you look slimmer, it makes you look more toned it makes you just look more glowy I'm not saying you need a tan to look good but I, for me, it just makes you feel more confident less effort and I personally have redness so if I got tan on my face it minimises my redness don't have to wear as much makeup that's my tip. I think it'll help. Just try it. You could even go and get a spray tan. They're like £20. A little bit pricey. It's cheaper to just buy the mousse and then do it yourself. You can get it for like £3. There's one by St. Moritz. That's okay and that's super cheap as well. So I'd say go for it. Tip number two is master a really simple makeup routine that you know how to do that takes you a few minutes. I can do this full face of makeup in 10 minutes pretty damn good if you ask me honestly 10 minutes this whole face I can get ready my whole self shower get dressed do my hair teeth makeup 20 minutes 20 minutes I would just say master a makeup routine something pretty simple moisturize bit of concealer eyebrows mascara join like you're ready to go tip number three is stay hydrated and moisturize honestly if you don't have the time to use moisturizer when you are in the shower just massage the water into your skin as much as you possibly can trust me it really really helps this is what i do it keeps my tan looking really good this is probably like two week old tan and it looks so good and so fresh because i have rubbed water into my skin while i was in the shower I don't really use skin moisturiser and my skin is always hydrated because I've always used this tip. It's something that I've been doing for the past few months and it really works. Because obviously your skin's first few layers will soak up loads of water. Which makes you look really glowy and cute. Tip number four is a skincare regime that keeps your skin as clear as possible. Now I know everybody suffers with acne. I have a few blemishes here and there. Some people have really bad unfortunate acne and you can, you can power through that. I have had really bad acne at points. And it sucks, I know it can really mess with your confidence, but if you can try and find a skincare regime that you feel like is helping with your skin, that's just going to give you a little bit more confidence with your skin. And obviously if you have clear skin, you're going to be like, oh, I have clear skin, I'm so happy. I recently posted a skincare routine and I will link that in the description if you want to check it out. It really, really helped me clear up my skin. As you can see, I have pretty much no blemishes. I have one right above my eyebrow and the rest are scars. And that is honestly thanks to all of the products and the tools that I've been using. So if you want to check that out, it's linked below. A good skincare routine is just going to make your life so much easier. <laughs> Number five is having a few wardrobe basics or a few outfits that you can just throw on. For me, I like wearing jeans and a nice top. <laughs> like what I'm wearing right now. I like wearing just a pair of blue denim jeans and a white shirt. Makes it look really classy, really put together. I feel like if you've got blue jeans, a white denim shirt, brown boots or brown flats, you're good to go. Any occasion, dress it up, dress it down. <laughs> you're ready. Number six is master a few hairstyles. For me, this is a pretty easy hairstyle. It takes me five minutes to get my hair like this 
and for me that's pretty fast and pretty easy. I'd probably spend longer trying to get it into an updo because I just can't do <laughs> I just can't do it. Tip number seven is to get lash extensions. I know this is not an option for everybody because it can get extremely, extremely pricey. I do have a tutorial on lash extensions, how I do it, under $10, it's really, really cheap, <laughs> really inexpensive, so try it out. Lash extensions for me means that I am fine to go out the house with no makeup on. I can literally leave with just my eyelashes gone I'm fine I feel like it just boosts your confidence so much more I feel so much prettier without makeup now yeah lash extensions these literally cost me like 10 pound every two months so I'm fine with that you can go to a salon and get it done and it can go up to like $50 I think which is so crazy it's about 40 pounds in the UK it's probably like $47 ish honestly I'd say do it yourself it's so easy to do it just boosts your confidence. It does that extra thing, isn't it? It'll take time off in the morning when getting ready for work or school or wherever the hell you're going. It'll just be handy. Number eight, again, this is to do with like a semi-permanent makeup, I guess you could call. And that would be either to get your eyebrows microbladed or just tint them. I tint mine because I'm way too scared to go and get my eyebrows microbladed. I, I just can't do it. I've been putting off getting lip injections for the longest time because I'm just <laughs> so scared. But yeah, I am so for doing things that just kind of like make your life easier. For me, if I had lip injections, I wouldn't have to do my lip liner and my lipstick every single day. So it just make my life easier take less time off me getting ready i always tint my eyebrows i use a black eyebrow tint from eyelaw and just tint it and then i don't have to do my eyebrows and again when my eyebrows are tinted and my eyelashes are all looking nice i feel ready to go out the house so i think just kind of making your routine easier why not and tip number 10 is to be confident and happy with yourself nothing screams i am beautiful more than self-love confidence and happiness. If I see a confident, radiant person, I automatically gravitate towards them because you don't need makeup, you don't need false things, you don't need all these material items to make you beautiful or make you pretty or make you perfect. Your personality, your confidence, your mindset is the most valuable, most beautiful thing that you have on and in your body, so always remember that. Perfect your insides before perfecting your outsides and that is honestly my biggest tip. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. And again, follow me on social medias. I love these pillows, they're so fitting. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any little things that you do in the morning to kind of help yourself get ready faster and just things that you do that take you a few seconds but just add that extra oomph then be sure to let me know in the comments I would sure like to know some hacks to make my life a little bit easier and make me look a little bit cuter <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you extremely soon with a brand new one bye guys